Hey everybody, it's uh, Wednesday, 28th, and uh, it is getting very, very difficult to find a spot where you can get away and chat to the camera without being looked at like you're nuts. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I get self-conscious talking to the camera in front of everybody else. Um, whatever. So, I'm currently hiding out for my break in the basement. These are all our movable stacks where we keep things. The stuff that we don't have up on the shelves because there's no room for them. So, I figure this should be a nice quiet spot. But, uh, so, today's vlog, oh boy, it's Wednesday, I knew it was going to be a darn difficult day when I went to go put my keys in my front pocket and I couldn't find my pocket. I'm wearing jeans, I should be able to find my pocket. <sighs> yeah, um, it's going to be a week. The Monday was, was good, um, went to the allergists where they tested me for uh, the various bee and insect, or yellow jacket and wasp and hornet and whatnot venom, and those pretty much came out negative, which, one, is a good thing. That means I don't have to worry about being looked across side and dropping dead from them. Um, the thing being is, yeah, it may be negative, but the way things go, you could be stung 99 times with no problems. The hundredth time, you have a problem. And while I haven't been stung a lot over the years, um, each time I had a slightly more of a reaction. So, um, I'll still keep taking, keep an EpiPen, especially when we go camping and hunting and whatnot. And uh, I have plenty of antihistamines to on hand, so that's not a problem. So, if I get stung, I could pop one, and then if that doesn't work, then of course, then we can go with the EpiPen. So, I've been running around for two days with these things patched, uh, taped to my back. Apparently, it's patch testing for metals allergies, which I don't think I have. Um, the only thing about them that have been driving me nuts is the fact that we've had to tape them down with extra tape, and I keep getting poked. Uh, they don't like to stay flat, but luckily they're coming off today, and because I have an allergist appointment this afternoon, and then uh, I get to see them a final time on Friday to get all the results. Um, talking to the um, assistant allergist on Monday, the gal who was giving me all the, the pokey tests, uh, she looked at my records and said, no, I'm not allergic to seafood or shellfish, which is kind of strange since I was eating shellfish and I was getting some awfully strange reactions, so it may have been a coincidence, but of course, since I stopped eating shellfish, I stopped having those particular symptoms. So, hard to tell. But, um, if we get the official word on Friday from the allergist that I am not allergic to shellfish, um, I'm going to find an all-you-can-eat seafood place and they're going to be in serious trouble because I have got three years worth of shrimp to catch up on. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is that. Um, back up to Spokane for that one, which means I take all day off. Um, it's an early morning appointment. It's at 10.30, which means we have to leave here a little before 8.00. So, which means we have to get up a little earlier than usual, but not too bad. Uh, sunny today, yesterday it was rainy, and Scrapper is definitely getting to like the fact that he has a place indoors. In fact, when I got home, Scrapper was inside. He'd come in earlier in the day on his own free will, which is good. He's being such a lovey-dovey. Um, he, The other... Kiki and Rum Tom just kind of look, oh yeah, he's here. Nikki still is not real happy, but he's getting better, which is good. Let's see, anything else? Well, the camcorder looks like it's going to do really well. Um, husband's trying checking it out to see what if we can use it as a webcam, um, because if we can, it will be a lot better than that piece of crap we've got at home. Um, which would be re really nice, and then uh, because it's much higher quality. I'm happy with the quality. I set it up on a tripod on my desk and just clear, uh, uh, filled up a tape, uh, let it run, and um, 
some previous complaints online about it was you can on the playback you could hear the the motor noise from the um, camera well I couldn't hear any sound was fantastic uh, pictures were pretty good my husband's looking at some uh, a video I did of Scrapper in low light and he's going it's awfully grainy I'm going yeah it's low light it's going to be grainy but depending on your light it looks great uh, it's got a lot of regular white white or yellow fluorescence it's got really good color um, the blue stuff that they've got in half the library things don't look as good they're kind of dark but then again you've got blue fluorescent lights that's never <laughs> it's crappy quality anyways so but yeah so that's what that's what's going on and uh, Hopefully, I will be getting a lot of footage. Um, it uses the the camcorder uses a fire wire, and unfortunately, our laptop does not have a fire wire, which means I'll have to download it onto my camera, have it networked over to the laptop because the laptop has XP, which has Windows Movie Maker. Um, Hubby is looking all over online for a equivalent. Um, Linux version of Movie Maker um, because unfortunately when I try and process the movies into Nero I tell them to save them small to less than a hundred uh, megs whatever the um, YouTube live video want to keep it less than and it'll say it saves at 90 and I go to look at it and it's 180 <laughs> no you're not supposed to double it so it's really, 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 really annoying. Um, what's really annoying is the fact that, that this is a professional copy of Nero and it's they keep improving it on the upgrades by taking some of the features we really, really liked out, which is dumb guys, dumb, 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 dumb. So I guess it's uh, time to wander back. I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully this evening we'll, um, I don't have the camcorder today because uh, my husband's got it, but hopefully this evening I can get uh, the, that clip of Scrapper looking so incredibly cute on the kitty condo. <laughs> he just had to, that was the way he was sitting. Uh, but you have to see it to understand what I'm talking about. So, talk to you later. Bye-bye.